please? Hello. How are you? Good, thank you. Are you returning these books? I am returning these books. Okay, we'll get them checked in for you. Thank you. You're welcome. In this presentation, we will be learning how to check in items with Symphony. There are three book drop locations at Cooper Memorial. At the circulation desk, in the front lobby, and a drive through on the north side of the building. These book drops should be checked at least once an hour or whenever necessary. To begin checking in, select Circ LCLS from the top menu. Select the Common Tasks wizard. Select Check In or hit F12. This will bring up the check in screen. Take the item to be checked in. Scan the item's barcode into the item ID box. Under the list of check ins, you will see the item's title, item ID or barcode, and where the item will go now that it has been checked in. Items that belong to Cooper or their home location go on the sorting carts to be shelved. If an item is not checked out, or if you scan it twice, an item not charged box will pop up. Click on OK or hit Return to continue scanning. When scanning multiple items for check-in, simply scan the items, one after another, into the item ID box. You will see the list of items under List of Check-ins. In this next section, we will be learning about what to do with transits. If an item belongs to another library, or if the item is on hold at another library, a pop-up box will appear and it will tell you which library to send the item. Click on OK to bring up the print window. Click on OK in the print box to print the transit slip. Place the transit slip with the item and then put the item on the transit card. In this next section, we will learn about what to do with holds. If the item is on hold for pickup at this location, a pop-up box will appear telling you who the item is for and other relevant information, such as the patron's phone number or email address. Click on OK to bring up the print window. The print box will appear. Click on OK to print out a hold slip. Items with holds need to be processed and then put on the hold shelf. In this next section, we will learn about other types of check-in. The book drop check-in is used at the beginning of each workday. To change the date for check-in, click on the gadget next to the date box. This will bring up the calendar. Select the date you need in the calendar gadget and select OK. Scan items as you would for normal check-in into the item ID window. Items checked in with the book drop check-in wizard will have a check-in date that you have supplied. Another type of check-in not commonly as used is the Find Free check-in. This is to be used whenever we need to check in an item that is in our error, such as those that have been found on the shelf but not checked in properly. Congratulations, you have completed check-in training.